part 5. This time I want to deal with fuel mixing and fuel burning. Primarily fuel burning if we get to that, because I mean the planet is very cold, so we have a, a source of cold. We use that a plenty, but uh, a source of heat, well, uh, not so much, far apart from the furnace, but that's not stable. Also, maybe if we have some kind of box like this and fill it with fire every once in a while, or who knows, maybe even remote controlled with an advanced tablet, which is actually possible. Like when we're far away, we push the button. Oh, there's the station. Maybe we can see it from afar. But the first concern, of course, would be to get the fuel. Well, that fuel that we're talking about is not the advanced fuel, which is a uh, one-to-one -one mix of nitrous oxide and volatiles, but the simple fuel, which is two parts volatiles and one part oxygen. And, uh, well, volatiles, we have a plenty. Oh, well, we have to find that, but it's, you know, we have to pick it up. But it's pure, you know, pure volatiles. And the other thing is, two, you know, two parts volatiles, one part oxygen. Huh. Where might we get oxygen on this planet? So, um, that's what we're trying to do then. We need a tank to store that fuel. I think it should be ins what is this? Should be insulated. Copper, steel, silicon. Oh, it's a bit cold in here. It's um, actually 20 degrees. Why is this thing complaining? Because that's a rounding effect. We're only seeing the round. Wait, why is it getting colder and colder? Because I melted some water over there and, you know, water ice. It will get warm enough soon enough, so let's not bother with that. And later we would possibly just push a button or even some using some automatism that does that for us, which will then just guide some heat over here. By the way, our cooling solution sucks because it cools the room way too weakly and I don't like this impurity of it just letting some air out of the room and you know that stuff um, there's two variations we could use uh, here um, which is like I have been doing so far pumping the stations I mean so far my uh, stations uh, pumping the indoor air through an outdoor pipe with radiators uh, to cool it down but we could also do something I haven't done so far yet pumping the outside air through an indoor pipe which also makes sense um, and has the advantage that I'm not moving the air around in here whenever I want to cool it. Downside is that if there's something in the pipe that is too like too cold so it becomes liquid I can't just let that out which I would normally do with the indoor air being piped outside um, because then I would have to let the outside air indoors. I mean that's okay we're talking basically about, CO uh, about pure oxygen so that's not going to happen in the first place but um, I mean, I'm talking concepts. What what would be better in this situation? I guess it doesn't matter. Or maybe the from outside to inside version is to be preferred. Should we go for that first? No. This fire thing is what I wanted to do for a long time. So let's get some uh, mm, uh, fuel for that thing here because there's not enough pressure in there. How do we get that? We take some gas from the rooms, for example, or from this pipe, which is currently empty. But over here we have 5 megapascals, sufficient. And um, then let's see, what's the switch? What do we want to do with the waste gas? Into the room? Nope. Into the nowhere? Yes. Oh, and what's that? What do we do with the gas that we want to use? Into the room? No. Into that thing? Yes. What do we want to pump in there? Well, we have lots of pollutant, 44%, a um, little bit of oxygen, a little bit of nitrogen, and lots of CO2. Seems like a waste, but then again, we will have that kind of waste gas all the time. So it's not like, oh, we have no, no CO2. <laughs> no, the CO2 can get lost for all I care. We have 5% in here or more. And um, so let's just use the CO2 and not the pollutant, I think, because the pollutant is fickle when we pressure that up to 10 megapascals here th stuff might become liquid again and then there's gonna be fun I mean I've had enough of that fun now I mean there's so much <laughs> action in the previous video or was that the one before that uh, be the one before that the previous one was MIPS MIPS the MIPS and MIPS and the one before that was I actually died but only because I had a panic situation and then 
in addition to that, these things were off, were off, but they were saying that they're on. Of course, I know this by now, but it would really help if these things would have a color indicator for everybody, no? not just for myself, um, that if they are red, it means they're off, and if they're green, it means they're on, or something along those lines, whatever. Uh, or, or, you know, a little LED that is dark or bright, because everybody would know what that means. But okay, uh, design-wise, it also makes sense to have less uh, visual elements. The more visual elements there are, of course, the more you can decode. But this also means that your mind, your brain is constantly being um, bombarded with all these, with all that information. And so the actual beauty of the situation is no longer coming through. You're constantly decoding, or maybe you're even overburdened. Anyway, now let's uh, fill that thing. Closed, open, closed, on, on, watch, analyze the air in case I've watched something once more. No, looking good. Okay. This takes a while. Why does it take a while? Huh. I don't know, and I don't... Oh, that's because... Haha! <laughs> what did I say? Now it's faster. I think. Oh, it's hard to tell because there's... There's this buffer here. Wait, here. Ah, yes. Pressure is increasing. Why is this so slow then? Why is the pressure regulator so slow? I'm almost inclined to, instead of using a pressure regulator, using a pipe analyzer here. And what's happening? Well, how am I polluting in there? Dude, what the fuck, man? Always something. Why is there pollutant in there? How did that happen? Must have been in there before already. It can only be a very tiny amount, but though four moles, that's not so tiny. Hmm. Yeah. Now I would, I could basically go and just uh, deconstruct this pipe and put it up again. But we did that in the previous, or well, we did that previously, and made clear that that's actually cheating, and we don't want to do that. So, um, well, I guess we have to live with that then. Once the stress reaches 100%, the pipe will actually take damage. And if it takes enough damage, it will explode. I mean, burst, rather. Ah, uh, yeah, well, let's... Go further. But not too far. I guess that was already in that bottle. Yeah, yeah, I remember. It was kind of a dirt bottle. Like anything goes. Yeah, the problem is pressure, man. And oh, is the pressure increasing? It is. Yeah, what I was saying, uh, well, I could possibly just use a volume pump and some pipe analyzer here and then control that with that, and that might actually make things much faster. That's something I should consider uh, for a future setup that is not in the middle of everything, you know? Hmm. Um, Bit more pressure though, if we can afford that. Oh, stress is apparently not increasing. I don't object to this circumstance. What are the plants doing? Hello, I'm a plant. How strong are you? I'm weak. Not a power plant then. <laughs> so, um, that is enough of this. Bzzp. What do we need? Iron. When do we want it? Now. Do I have air? Do I have electricity? All of that is present. And I have my tracker. And this should now turn on automatically. Yeah, it does. So we can find our back home. How much electricity do we still have? That's kind of relevant. Enough for the purpose. Iron. Now, now we're free. 
we can go anywhere we please to mine because we have the tracker. Obviously, I was here already. Hydration critical. Ah, there's always something. And volatiles. I should also gather volatiles. To light things on fire. Huh. I wish this was deeper. We're stumbling over astonishingly few resources on this run. And that's it, the pneumatic mining drill when it's kinda powered, but I'm not even using a smart mine, uh, smart uh, uh, gas canister now, which has even more pressure. How fast is it decreasing, by the way? Oh, it's agreeably slow. Considering how I'm annihilating the landscape, forward to tossing all that copper into our nice auto-magic arc furnace. Oh, more. I think I can sense how it is already getting slower. But still, so much faster than the basic mining drill. And all we need is, once we have built it, for which we need solder, I think that was the only tricky part, to stuff some bottle in. And once it's a smart air canister, gas canister, yeah. Iron. I hate that I have to go to back go back to work tomorrow. That sucks. Don't wanna have to work, that's shit man. That's also why I have to keep this video probably rather short, like two hours or something, because, you know, gotta sleep.
so far not a bad run. Lots of resources, some iron to make a full stack of steel. Could use some more coal. Gold, okay, whatever. Give me gold then. I should really just use pure oxygen for my uh, mining bottles here because um, then I could just swap my own oxygen bottle against this one. I mean, just swapping my bottle in is not the problem. But I also have to do something with the bottle. And it's like one hand motion and also once I swap my bottle away to give it to the mining drill so that it can drill faster, I don't have anything to breathe. So it sounds like a like a great solution. Just pump in some air from the room, only oxygen, and yeah. I need a better solution for that. I know, it's completely makeshift. I mean, the station is still so makeshift. But in the previous video, I changed quite a few things to automa uh, automation. And so that is, a th I think, a nice outlook as to what can be done. And um, But that is still missing on the front of engineering, totally, I think. So... Stupid shit. Ah, of course. I mean, of course, the hitboxes are clearly visible, so... If you want to click correctly, it's possible. So we can tell that once the drill is below, like, 5 megapascals, it is already so slow that uh, we yearn for higher pressure. Where will I go? I don't care. Somewhere, there will be something. And then later I use the tracker. This one. Silver! Oh, I guess we don't have too much of that. So I consider this a uh, good fortune. Now it's kind of ah, still slightly faster than the basic mining drill, but only slightly. Health flow, yeah. It's because I'm thirsty. Just in case I can see the station from here. I mean, that would be fun. My guess is in that direction somewhere. Or in that direction. Now let's, let's see what the tracker claims. <laughs> Dude, not bad. Actually, it is bad because I guessed so due to the look of the landscape.
Hunger critical. Jetpack low. Jetpack critical. Yeah, yeah. Jetpack low. Yeah, yes. Jetpack critical. Yes, and that was understood. Obviously, that's a bug. What else would you th would you say to such behavior? This cannot be intended. So, if a programmer does something, and it leads to things that are unintended, and those are negative, that's a bug. That's the definition of bug. It's really that simple. Good run. You can make f two full stacks of steel. Not that I recommend it, but maybe we're gonna do that. Temperature low. Uh, Temperature right. Critical. Yeah, good timing. No more battery. Jetpack low. Temperature low. Yeah, yeah. Jetpack critical. Now let's eat something with haste. Temperature, 21 degrees. 17. Uh-huh, 57 liters. That will last us a while. Of course, a proper station would have an indication as to how much water you possess clearly visible and also all those indications would be maybe not central but would at least have some kind of system you look over here you see this you look over there you see that and it kind of looks the same though it indicates very clearly uh, the thing that is supposed to indicate unconfusingly so I just tossed something here now let's enjoy this show Yeah, maybe it's yeah, it's full. It's full. Can eat it, man. Just to digest your. You're saying that what's coming out there is your shit. Yes, eat it. Well, um, how much uh, steel can we make here? Fifty, fifty, fifty. That will be our first two hundred stack of steel. Would be as in will be. Then let's see. Is it reasonable to make another one? Well, 50, 50, 50, 50, important that the mixer is correct, else that thing. Now that we have this set up, do we have more iron? Oh, that was all iron we just gathered? Then it's not too reasonable to do that like that, but maybe we have some iron lying around here, so it might be okay-ish. Nothing. A little bit of iron. Unknown. 49. 46. It's reasonable. We will have to go out mining anyway at some point, but it's not like we're currently naked if we do that. So, now we want to make some steel. Uh -huh. The sun is going down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But first... No, not first. This stuff can... <laughs> I'm not unfortunate. Good flow so far. Can you imagine this thing spitting out its brick down out there in the storm so it gets blown away and damaged in the process? Undesirable. 
We could also make some more Electrum. Uh, let's see, I think we don't have too much of that. 37, I think that's all we have. So let's make a large stack of Electrum. I believe it's a one-to-one -one mixture, Electrum. 50-50, sorry. 50-50. <coughs> Turn that down slightly. And, uh, yeah, 50 50. So that would be silver and gold. Do we have enough silver for the purposes? Yes, we do. And then we have 10 silver left, which would mean 10 pills if you think so. Um, by the way, thriving, 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 spitting, rhymes. No. Or not. Uh, okay. Need some more storage space. We need more space overall. Okay, we want to do Electrum. Then we can also smell some gold while we're at it. That will help us do the smelting. And then, of course, the steel stuff. Why am I still carrying those pipes? After this slightly tedious um, activity, we will have a lot of steel. And then I think we have reasonably enough steel to, in the future, when we expand, use steel uh, frames and steel sheets. So basically, this video uh, will be getting us into the steel age. Let's do that then. Oh, filter was still on. Yeah, I like the sound uh, work that they have done on this game, but there are some things that are imperfect and what you just heard was obviously imperfect. I mean, the storm is also good, but this one thing where they are using the synthesizer with a resonant filter and moving the pitch bender in that certain way is just too obvious. Okay, let's heat it up then. Carefully. If memory serves. How much do we need? I do not remember. First the thing needs to be heated up, and then we put the stuff in, and then we, then we maneuver from there. 50 silver. Actually, what does silver ore have gas-wise? Some nitrogen, some pollutant, some nitrous oxide. Okay. And this, I think, only has oxygen. No, it has more. O ox Oxygen, nitrogen, pollutant. <laughs> Pressure is too high. Temperature is probably too low. If that is, if memory serves. Six hundred Kelvin plus. Okay, so that is fine. But uh, obviously, the temperature is. Uh, I mean, we need to put more fuel in. Hmm, now I have to fill my hands. And didn't I want to turn away from that motherfucker when I do that? Yeah. That gives us a lot more heat, also a lot more pressure. Let's do something about the pressure. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's the... Output. This thing, for those who haven't watched, it's Philistines, uh, opens whenever the uh, room reaches a temperature of above. Actually, it should be above 250 degrees. Yeah, there's something wrong here. So let's fix that. But before do we do that, let's not fall for that problem again. Do we have some pollution mix in here? Yes, we do. No, we don't. 
All right, I'm learning here. Yes, it's too cold. I get it. I was doing something crimefully. I mean, sinful. Um, so, um, what was the problem? The problem is that uh, for some emergency reasons, when my spacesuit was too fucked up in video number three, this is number five, I changed the emergency door temperature threshold to, I believe, uh, something much less high. So, let's go to 250 again and export. Yeah, that is space age. You change a number and reality changes. Okay, that's fine. Electro. Now let's make steel. But take care that it doesn't cool down too much. And we see it's rather rapidly cooling. Uh, it's still fine, but I'm just saying. We have to have an eye on that. Else the furnace will freeze on us again, and then we are in this funny problem that we need to use welder fuel, which I realize we basically don't have anymore. Which is also kind of the topic of this video, right? Making fuel. I find the music annoying. That and the coal, but I, I will first check. Okay, 50 hydrocarbon and... Okay, that's exactly the correct mixture, so put that in. This lamp then should therefore become green, but no, it's too cold. Actually, it's dangerously cold. So then... Should still be burning anyway. More, more than. Still not a fan. Waste tank caution. Steel. One brick, four hundred. Now let's smell some other stuff while we're in this room. Wait, didn't I have some more gold on me? All oh, right, I used that for. Oh, <laughs> we have. 200 degrees Celsius in here. Uh, oh, right. Let's close that so we can keep the gas around. Too bad there's... Wait, I have an idea. Well, that seems rather futile. If you look closely, you realize it's not. Because I'm purifying the air. Oh, actually, um, I think... Yeah, <laughs> that was not the best approach. Okay, I think we're fine. The mixture is alright. Now the temperature can rise. I hope so. That's inside the furnace. Yeah, too bad that will take a while. And how hot is it still? 900 Kelvin. You know what? Let's put some more stuff in there. So, did this do something bad to the air? No, it fell right from my inventory, from my mining belt inventory into the furnace without, an, a, fu without a fuzz. So, uh, we realized the room temperature is rising as fuck. Therefore, the problem of the next room being kinda cold can be solved by just simply opening the door. Which is now what I'm doing. What? There's some stuff in here? Okay. Well, let's heat this room up then too, because that was one of the problems. What filters do we have? This and that. No volatiles, but uh, there are no volatiles here. And also, I guess I got a lighter somewhere. Why is there still some crap? But anyways, being filtered out. So temperature is uh, not yet too high, but I think we should assume that it will be. 
28 degrees. Uh huh. See, so so using the furnace on Europa to heat your station is an entirely reasonable, uh, entirely reasonable approach. And if the furnace room uh, gets too hot, then f for that situation we can just put some MIPS in there, which will open the door. So yeah. Oh, I realize that we have 1,000 degree gas right here. That was not the best approach. Um, 25 degrees. Well, let's just leave it at that. Plants thriving towards seeding. Fine. Now we have steel. How much do we have? 400. Ah, damn. I had the gold right in my hand. Okay, it's it's not gone. Let's just place it here and forget about it now. Pop, pop, pop. 43. Oh, there's more? I had more silver. Ah, yeah. Now do something about the jetpack fuel. Uh, do something about the um, the several things at once. Do about all of them. Something. Meep, meep, meep. One more. Actually, is the air being cleaned? Yes, it is. Mm. So CO two is uh five percent. Not enough. Let's put more in there. Mm-hmm. There, I just cooled the room. Maybe we should... Uh, actually, now that we have steel, you know what? Let's start the battery revolution. Where's the steel? Did I put it somewhere? I don't remember. Hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I should really not throw stuff around like that. Guess we have to make more steel then. Wait, I'm just gonna go mining for 10 minutes. No problem. You can skip that part, you know? batteries. So battery cell nuclear is not for us yet because we need Inconel and Astroloy. Uh, I'm not sure. I think both of them are advanced. Let's look that up. Yep, you can see it already. I mean, if it looks like that, it requires the advanced furnace, which we're looking forward to, ha be, uh, to be having. But before we do that, we will have uh, the fuel stuffs because we need that for other purposes. For example, to weld stuff. So then, um, battery I swear I want to sort all this stuff differently you know because if you look here it's uh, I mean okay this actually this works hmm. I thought it was more chaotic but in other cases it is so gold copper steel how much does it need it needs 5 grams steel 10 grams copper 5 gram g gold so how do how many of these do we make then well do we have some copper apparently Then let it rip. Swap all the tool batteries against the big ones. So how many do we need? One. Actually, what am I doing? Well, that's correct. The approach is correct. Um, I, w I wanted to, p I wanted to go to wireless batteries right now, but um, that means we are constantly drawing a lot more e electricity, and we still still don't have a good source for that. We could actually put up a Sterling engine, which so far I have not yet used. Or maybe a wind generator of, the, of a different kind, which I've also not tried yet. But all of that is not for this video. For which we have about two more hours at the most. What's happening? Okay. What good is a battery if you are unable to speak? Well. Uh huh. That's kind of where I want to stop. <sighs> okay, let's start the revolution then. This video will not be televised. Uh. Hmm. Not now, at least. So. That is the electric drill. And on me, I have the other one. And yeah, I, I was talking about smart uh, canisters. We could use one for our oxygen tank. 
what do they take? Copper, steel, silicon. We have steel, last time I checked. And before we do this swapping back and forth all the fucking time, let's set our stacker here to 100 and see how we fare. Oh, oh, what's that? That rolled in there from somewhere. It was completely unrelated to everything. Ah, damn. One more, maybe? Okay. No, this one. This one was already half eaten by Monsieur here. More zero, huh? And then we have uh, steel that we want to use here. And the rest shall be in the pile of goodies. Oops. Off. Hydration critical. Uh, copper and silicon. Do we have silicon? Yep. And copper. much copper. Two, okay. Um, Man, that chaos here is k kind of putting. Hmm. How do we proceed? This stuff is for the furnace. Would be nice if we had another locker here. But that is currently not doable. There's no space. That was the cooling thing, because the room is too hot. And that is a stupid cooling solution. I'm not gonna go into that now, but... Um, And it's so beautiful cold. <laughs> At the beginning we suffered that, you know. Now we're like, oh, thank you, planet, for being so cold. That's so useful. Oh, cool planet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one thing that's annoying about this one is that uh, we cannot vent whatever's over yonder. So um, maybe we should do something about that then. I would have to have a valve that vents into wherever I wish. For example from here to there but only optionally so but I want to do that now I need more pipes how much iron do we have? ah no not, not that problem please pipe no, 0.5 well I guess that, that'll work no way to make that work properly. If you think about it, all of this ones and zeros, bits and bytes, program code, textures, rendering software, layers upon layers stacked on each other, yet it works reliably, doesn't crash, and you get the feeling that pipes are being tossed against each other differently all the time, and realistically and physically. Fuck me sideways. What, what have we achieved, or rather they? What's happening? Heat. Hmm, that's probably not good for our CO2 um, situation. So yeah, it's kind of important. Where did I toss the tablet again? Important that uh, we get some proper cooling going, but not now. Where did I toss it? Ah, we'll find it. So. It'll turn up. So now here I would put some valve, which I do have. 
But as we engineers like to do, want to express where that goes. Okay. So let's vent that crap. I'd like to witness that with my tablet, but I can't. It's probably somewhere beyond below the plants, huh? <laughs> Oh, there it is. Found it. So, now in this pipe network there's actually not nothing, but there is uh, O2. Not surprisingly, that's what, what the planet has. Plenty of. So what should be here actually is a volume pump. Someone said that uh, low pressure is best to be vented with the pressure regulator. Which means I could put a, pressure, a volume pump here, then I would have to take care of this. I mean, this whole assembly is shit. Okay, let's keep it all like it is, except on this in this place. Uh, where is my... I always drop my stuff. Oh, there it is. Volume pump. Mm -hmm. Since we have a centrifuge in the next room, I think we should also put up a recycler, then we can empty a little bit of that locker so we have more space to store stuff. For example, canisters. A recycler? No, was it called recycler or crusher? Kit recycler. 20 iron, 10 copper. Steel. Uh -huh. Now that pump needs to be wired up. Huh. Hmm. I don't understand. I mean, this probably means there's some pollutant in the pipes. Hydration critical. But. Oh, I, right, right. That's the problem. Um, this thing is somehow unable to do what it's supposed to because its filter is run out. That is why the pollutant was not removed from the liquid pipe. That is why the water bottle pillar could not continue what it's supposed to do. You could also make bigger filters, they take different resources. Okay, problem is gone. But you also see that this thing is moving. Let's uh, magnify that. Huh, I thought it would be moving. Maybe it is, but too slowly. Because, of course, it's sucking all that pollution into it. And then we flip this lever and everything comes out. <laughs> no, we don't want that. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's decreasing. I mean, yeah, yeah, see? Nice, we could witness that. Good. Now, recycler. Uh, yeah, recycler goes here, I guess. It's all very makeshift and chaotic still. But I'm glad that this whole stuff is working at all. 
and this death that I had in this in the second to last video, you know, in video three, was really unnecessary. It was not uh, we planned wrong, ran out of resources, something exploded or something like that. It was just too much at once happening, and um, I mean, part of that is you. You know, you are happening. I mean, I'm talking to you. Do you hear me? And um, so. On the other hand, uh, some things that I'm doing in this video I wouldn't have done in the first place uh, if I would be like talking to the potential listener. And uh, for example, in some situations I would just have reloaded instead of doing what I should do, which is playing it properly. So can't blame the listener-ish situation for the death really if I have acted differently overall because of that. So. Labeler. Pull. Pull and big. Whoop de doo. Pull. Not so much. Okay, these are served. Now let's see this one. And there's the electric mining drill, which I'm not sure if I would keep using it, but I do feel as if we need like two more of the big batteries, um, for example, so that uh, here is a replacement for that one. Power critical. So let's make then um, like three more. Yep. Gold copper steel. Wait, I I have one on me? How did that happen? One for the big mining drill and another one reserve. So I want two more. And it's still too warm. Why is it so very warm in here? Uh, okay. Where's the tablet? Oh man. Will this be the running gig of this video? Come on, we don't need that every time. Uh huh. What is it that I want to do with this thing now? Right. 400 degrees. Maybe I should just let that stuff out and forget about it, you know? <laughs> this is now in our fridge? Ah! <laughs> Will decay completely in 8 hours? I wonder if that is influencing the decay rate. Damage is at 12? Yeah, okay, that, that's the decay. And the decay itself is um, counted as damage, basically. Yeah, that's not, not the best placement for our fridge stuff. Um, what is the purpose, the reason? Thirst. Let's drink then. So, now with some furnace waste gas flavor. And I guess then we will get another pill. That should be about the timing, I think. One fern seed, okay. Fern seed, fern seed, fern seed, and fern seed. Beep. Two fern. So, what is the state of this thing? One silver, one cobalt. And now we can make the pill medical. Wait. Okay, that's a bug here. And prepare the next one already. Because why not be equipped? Uh, I mean, why not be prepared? Things are looking up, huh? Only three more. Um, where do I put this? Where it belongs. On me. Replant. 
Replant, replant, replant. <laughs> Seeds. Hmm. I feel like um, I shouldn't have too many potatoes lying around, so let's put that on my initial stack, which was three. And now we have seven. So instead of getting two per harvest, we now effectively get one per harvest. Okay, we have eaten. We have drunk and drink drunk to something. This has been wired up. So now we can actually empty this. And it is being emptied. You can see that the speed at which it is being emptied is actually nice, but it seems to be decaying the less there is in there, which is what the guy spoke about. But it's sufficient. No, no reason to complain. Okay, now that is evacuated, now we can cr uh, create... What, what about this then? O2 and CO2. That is basically not pure, but... Um, I mean, when it comes to oxygen bottles that we want to use for breathing, that is pure enough. So, let there be... Man, this cable is so in the way. Let's see if we can aim reliably. I stand with my ass in the corner. I try to stand with my ass... In the, what the fuck? And then, pop! Can I click this one too? No, I cannot. Yeah, now I can't move. Very helpful. And I don't need the CO2 in there. Oh, and that, please. Do that. And no, not out the station. God damn it, I'm stupid. Into the station. So what's the pressure in here? And that was also stupid. I didn't take care at all what was in this pipe. What am I doing? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, not good. Right, and the max pressure that we want to achieve here is, needs to be higher now. And that is something we could do. We could uh, have a system like this where we plug in the bottle. This thing measures itself. What bottle is in there adjusts itself to the respective pressure, uh, which doesn't have to be via this thing. It can just use um, a pump instead, instead of using a pressure regulator. You know. Let's check the environment. Enough CO2. O2 pressure is ooh, pressure is rather low. Let's turn that off. Oxygen low. Thirty-three megapascals. But the actual question is, one thousand five hundred moles. And in here, this canister, which is already full, has uh, four hundred moles. Uh, yeah, there's some pump which is stronger than it should be. Let's help with that. This whole setup is shit. I mean, it gets the job done, but that's not how anyone should do that, except in an emergency situation, which, haha, we're in. Because that is still all emergency stuff here. Map, next one, please. Filter? Good. No battery? Bad. Right, I remember I wanted to make two batteries, and now I realize I need to make three. That's enough. Seventeen megapascals, that is enough for the purpose. Okay, batteries. Uh needs copper. We don't have enough of that? Yes we do. Three more please.
think it's too hot again. Sounds like it. Yeah, the station batteries are currently being uh, burdened with all that stuff, obviously, but they're doing okay. Okay. Anything we need to consider here? No. What? 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 I mean, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Did I actually already again damage my lungs so I need the fucking pill? Whatever will I do? So, now we have the two oxygen canisters. I should put them in a place. Is there actually some nice way to... Well, there is. We could put some rack in here. I wonder if that fits down there with the doors. Let's try. Let me put some, uh, you know, stuff in there. Uh, pom 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 locker. And then I hope we will get to the fuel mixing, actually. That ah, was, was a bit reckless to stand right there in that minus 160 degrees draft. I wonder how much of that actually reached me. Hard to tell. Shelf. That would work. Otherwise, we also have the shelf. I mean, all these bottles here, who is supposed to know what's what, right? But if they're in that place, then it's pretty clear what they're good for. Which means I should only put things in here which have their respective purpose. Let's verify. First of all, temperature is agreeable. 30 degrees is good because the station should never have a temperature that is that high or higher. Therefore, the fact that these are already at 19.5, which is explodey, you know, when it, when it reaches 20, uh, should be a problem because it will actually cool down and so the pressure will decrease. Uh, a lot of O2 and even more O2 here, I mean ratio-wise, I actually, you know, just ratio but also 470, 441. So, in case I need some mining drill E action, why am I having. Why is this thing on the floor? Why isn't it like. here? Huh. And this one? Right, I wanted to swap. I remember. They're not full yet. Hmm. And what to do with all those small batteries? Well. I mean, it might seem a bit ridiculous, but why not just throw them away? Well, not all of them, maybe, but okay, not the full ones. Let's. If I don't throw all of them away, then I should throw away those who are not entirely full. That's more logical. Cold, you say? 18 degrees. Ah, oh, 18 is fine. I I think I tossed it in there but didn't turn it on yet. Mm. Yeah, what happens if I turn this on? After a few seconds it will spit out the ball and <laughs> it said not I mean the setup is cool. Spit it out, baby. I wonder if that works. I assume not. Could I put some obstruction in that corner that will prevent that from rolling too far? I mean, that's as makeshift as it gets. I never did that in this game, so... Hmm. That is for us, I guess. Another locker. Yes. 
sun is getting really, really low. Really, really low. <laughs> oh, that would fit. Iffy, to say the least, but I mean, but it apparently fulfills the purpose. Um, and that should be closed then. Oh, turn off. Okay, what's the next step? Clean up clean up some more of this grumpel. Some water, some CO2. This is very chaotic. I don't like that. There's lots of... There's actually lots of water in there. Uh, and then again, no, it's not lots of water. I mean, interesting. Um, oh, it's... Yeah, the re thing is, it's almost empty. Well, then let's empty it proper. Because now we can. Now we have a way to empty our bottles for real which so far didn't exist. And now there's suddenly so much more in there because when I filled the bottle, the entire pipe network, of course, was filled to the respective presser. And when I put the bottle in, it, you know, that was shared. <sighs> ah, yeah, Müll, garbage. But not this one. Oh, it's done. I disagree. Oh, doesn't work. Crap. I thought that was a good idea. Sad face. Empty. Completely devoid of content. Hooray. I was in there. Ah, uh, same shit. Different bottle. Oh, Electrum? Right, I made some. I remember. Does this thing actually have light here? <laughs> so, um, moderately well, probably because the light isn't so fine, but you know, plant wise, we are uh, not. Um, everything's fine. Yeah, plant, plants are looking good. What's this? More of the same. Man, but what are we doing? Still some stuff in there, okay. Uh, now, okay, now that we have the steel for the tank, that was actually the goal here. Let's make the insulated tank. Empty. Where's that bottle? Where's that? Wo is that bottle? <laughs> you know, where and wo is means the same, except one word is German. Wo ist das Auto? Ich kann das Auto nicht finden. Wo befindet sich das Auto denn jetzt gerade? <laughs> so we will have our smelting room in this corner. And I should actually add some doors to that from the outside. I will do that once the room has been created. 
because I can walk the walls now. Uh, because um, maybe I need to do some maintenance or some emergency release or whatever, and I should be able to do that. Actually, maybe I should have a door here. Then I should have a door here, you know, between these two. And then I should have a door there, which always is always open. And I should have a door here, which can be open from there. So I can get there in a way that doesn't pollute and so forth. I need. I mean, this seems a bit like that stuff over here, but isn't that like fun, you know? This engineering feeling over here. So much fun, so actually, that... Um, let's spice it up a little. Do we have yellow? We do have yellow. Hydration critical. No! Ah, oh, fuck me. Did it happen? No, it did not happen. Just in time. Uh, yeah, the problem here is that my <laughs> my jetpack is low. Now that I have this nice setup here, and remember this, what am I doing? Why should my jetpack also have a proper big motherfucking tank? Smart canister. Oh. Will we change something about the things on the ground here? Not... Ex not... Uh, probably not. Therefore, we could also spice things up slightly. This will stay free, because I will probably make an airlock out of this one. But these could actually use some steel walls. Decorative, you know? In the color white, or mm, mm, yeah, let's you know. I think, I think white is the default. Fill that with whatever we have here, which is currently twenty-three degrees pure O2. Because that thing is closed, and it should stay closed. So that. That any waste gas that we suck from the air shell. Uh oh. That would have been awkward. Man. <laughs> oh man, I'm really not good at this. Look at the dirt. Now I had almost unleashed that into the room. Didn't though. What's in here? Yeah, I thought that it's unnecessary to have a valve between here, but I think it is necessary. We should, <laughs> we should, you know, create another point of failure so that I can fail some more on video. Um. I'm not doing anything, it's... Mm, I mean, it's not something perverse or so, something that's just... Uh, yeah, again, I acted like an idiot. We first, the f first you flip the levers and then... What's going on? Yeah, of course, there's... Uh, it reaches... W a room, yeah, it's... A, a what? How is there pollutant in there? Always I somehow managed to have pollutant. What the fuck is happening again? Oh, let's... let's oh. The cables are kinda in the way now. 
and I have to actually release that into the room. But that's from where it came, so not a problem. How much? How high is the damage so far? Eight percent. Ridiculous. I keep doing that. Now my jetpack is low. Where's the suit? Huh? Ah, up there. No more. And this one? Let's suck the drive. Into the environment. No. Mm, trick. So what's happening here? Well, business as usual, of course. That's the data connection. And I heard that these things actually con consume electricity, and I don't get that. I mean, I don't understand that. Let's look at it. Uh, insulated tank. Tank, small, insulated. That's the one we'd be building. Base power usage, 100 watts. How does that work? I mean, if I put that thing up, and then stuff a pipe in it, and it stores some gas, then it will not use energy, because I'm not connecting it to any power grid. And if I connect that logic thing there to some logic grid, but not to a power grid, then it can also not consume 100 watts. So what the fuck is this? I don't understand. It must be something that's wrong. Just, just wrong, I guess. Ah, crap. That looks okay. What will be in there? Our fuel mix, I guess. Or just the volatiles for the fuel mix? No, no, no. I'm a makeshift kind of um, guy, so... Empty. Turn offable. Oh, still on. Plants are doing okay-ish. Temperature is not complainable. 20 degrees. Hunger, caution. Energy. Hmm. That's not fine. Hunger, you say? I don't have a hunger yet. One of the things that will probably eventually come when they add more uh, survival stuff is that you can't just eat potatoes all the time without repercussions. Because that's kind of weird, isn't it? Uh, not my intention. Fuck it. So, something I forgot, I'm pretty sure. Not that I meant this, but it's also not the dumbest thing to do. Makeshift, makeshift, makeshift. Another electricity consumer. Five watts. 
even if the batteries are not there or full. Right. Pollution. Ah. <laughs> Pollution seems to be gone. Now, the next step. We want to put up some walls here. So we can toss some stuff in. For that, we also need chutes. And uh, I'm not sure yet how to throw that in there because that will be the usual shenanigans of me standing too close and smacking open my suit. But that's what that is then. I might also put a chute in there which allows me to throw that thing in from the outside, which actually makes more sense. You mine on the outside, and instead of coming in here, you just, yeah, throw it right into that room. Which is actually how I should do this. And that, in turn... Oh. Now there we have this. This is uh, it's a new thing that we implemented in the previous video. If the station battery power overall is less than 20%, this happens. As long as we're inside the station, you know? When we're outside the station, which is indicated by the outer door being open, it's going to depressurizing, then the beacon goes on and all the lights turn off. But that obviously doesn't solve the immediate problem. Also, that thing consumes 300 watts, so no, not the best approach. What can I do about this? Um, I couldn't burn some coal, for example. Do we have enough extra coals to not worry about such a measure? We do. Let's see how far we can go. Ah, interesting. <laughs> oh. Blissful, blissful. Uh, I should could put the chutes up in a way that I can only use that from the outside. Um, and then I could use... Um, you, you would have the, uh, the door from that side and the door from this side and this kind of airlock-ish situation. So... Um, and from the outside, it's so cold and if I toss that stuff in by hand, that will not hurt. Anyway, this would be the smelting room. I toss the ice in here and it smells. I don't actually know how to exactly make that happen yet. Um, but, um, well, nature finds a way. So let's make some doors. One to get out there, one to separate, one to actually go there and one to go there. That's that's a shit ton of door man, doors, man. Also, the shoes, where would those, where would those go? Hmm. Nervous? So if there would be a door here, in case of emergencies... Then I couldn't have the chutes here. Then the chutes would be there. It makes sense. So chutes would be here just from the outside. Here would be a door, there would be a door, here would be a door, and here would be a door. We're talking four doors. Four doors. And also the little problem that um, if I put that here... But no, I would have to put a box out there anyway. So once there is this box, I'd be safe from the huge problem that I get if I open this window. How are our batteries doing? I think the coal has now burnt out. It was 11. Um, not too well, but I think also no reason to complain. So now we have these 13 which is two more for next time. Mm, I want to place a box, a frame. Yeah, this is an extension of this very room, very slightly, I'm very small, so I still want to go for iron frames. One there, one there, two, we need two. Then we need iron walls. Didn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll just pretend that I counted those meaningfully. Wait, what? Iron sheets and more of these window thingies. Now that we have this advanced thing, we're still doing only basic stuff, hilarious, but... 
no reason to haste. I mean, where do we want to go? But into the very moment that we're in, huh? That's how life works. That's how you. That's successful living. You know, enter the moment instead of trying to escape it. Yeah, that brings also the question of the meaning of life. What is a waste of time and what is not? 14. Sufficient for the purpose. Now, iron sheets. All five of them, huh? I need two... actually... Four. I will not have enough. I need more iron. Iron! Where are you? That was helpful. Uh huh. What's the equipment doing? Yeah, this is a stupid bug here in the game where sometimes it just shifts the most bottom the bottom most position higher and then then you get all these shenanigans with moving the windows around manually and such which can sometimes actually kill you because then you're just out of time So I want to go out there and do some stuff. Do I have air? Do I have battery? Do I have filters? Do I have the tools? I Oh, I don't have the tools. Because, <laughs> that's hilarious. I'm trying to make a source for welder fuel. And for that, I need welder fuel. But I think I still have a little bit of that. Off, off, off. My lungs are damaged enough. Ah, I forgot the doors. Stupid. One door here, one door here, one door there, and one door here. And then we need the the shoots. Forty three kilopascals out there. The smelting room. The fire room would be over here. 
Uh, I have to drink again. Oh. And I need four doors. One thing to consider, the furnace stuff will get colder and colder, and I should at least have an eye on that, to gauge what's happening. Still rather warm, and that doesn't count. Yeah, <laughs> pollutant meat fridge, <laughs> that's hilarious. Seven iron. Oh, wait, that seems to be a problem. I need to go mine iron again. Ah, fuck. Can I get some more iron? You know, to get the show on the road. Because currently the sun is kind of not there. Yeah. Any storm warnings? No. Okay. What's that? Why is the air moving? Mm, that is possibly because of this thing here. When the airlock cycles, it pumps all the stuff from in here, like 100 kilopascals, or I don't even know what the pressure in the base is, <laughs> hilariously, mm, into the station. That spreads out, and whenever air moves, it is being expressed like this. Uh, right, there would be a door here, 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 and uh, then in this place. Manual hatch. Isn't that? So this goes there. And yeah, that wasn't the wisest approach. Don't have the mining drill with me, and the sheets are still in there. I can't pick them from here, huh? No, I can't. Hook. Uh, why did I put this here? Right, because I want to give this guy a proper battery. What the fuck is that? Oh, you can't see that. Good. Nvidia is showing me some stupid message. Hey, you're playing a game. Well, have fun playing the game. <laughs> you know, on the right top, this banner that so sometimes comes in. <laughs> there is. So I need iron sheets to complete the doors. Now let's think a little bit further. Once I do that, I might actually have to heat up that. No, I don't. No, no, no. We have a massive station by now, room volume wise, so the temperature that we have in here is 23 degrees, so once I let in some cold air, that will not do much. And if need be, I can, you know, smell some steel or whatever. I swear, I didn't take care. Uh, I didn't check how high, how big these stacks of uh, of sheets, how big the stacks of sheets was. 
Exactly two? Good. Except I need two more doors. Uh, but that's not bad, because when I open this, I will get another sheet. But only one, huh? Hmm, hmm. Mm, why do I even need four doors? One here, obviously. Uh, and one here, then. Yes. Hmm. Crap. Mm. Whatever. Another door here. So what about the air? Since we are not currently taking... I mean, that was an experiment, right? I said, no, leave that up. You know, because we can purify that with this thing. It was an experiment. The experiment was successful. Now I know what I'm talking about. But now we don't have to... Uh, what is happening? What the fuck? What the fuck? There was so much water in that thing itself that when I took it away the pipes burst? Man. Good thing that's not, not fatal at all because what happened is that all the water landed in the air and guess what? We're kinda equipped for that kind of emergency with that th uh, thing there. Hypothetically nothing would have happened. So already filling, 25 liters, sucking all that water back in there. But that's the reason, you know. Uh, the pipe network's volume is 60 liters. Let's see what one pipe has. One has 20 liters. So obviously the this collector kind of thing itself also has 20 liter volume and when I took that away the entire pipe network only had 40 liters but there was more in there and so didn't consider that. I need one more sheet. Oh, sheet! Let me just check what's happening over here. I mean, uh, okay, I said uh, in the previous video, does anyone have the impression as if YouTube's um, high quality rendering has now become faster, you know, when you upload a video? And I just checked, you know, I just uploaded a 30 gigabyte video once more or something, how big is it? 31, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and that was, uh, that finished, the upload itself finished about like half an hour ago maybe? It's already completely crunched. So yeah, it has gotten faster, because otherwise I would have taken like half a long a day more. I appreciate that. Okay, uh, let's not touch this door now, because we don't want to lose the precious water. Mm, we will just go neatly through the airlock. Actually, no, let's first weld this. And open, because there's also water in here, we don't want to waste. And yeah, yeah, there's some pollution in there now, whatever. Whatever. Bit cold in here, what can we do about that? Nothing reasonable. Except... Room temperature, minus 16. 150. Ah, shit. I forgot that. I also have to check the air uh, mixture. But it's it's agreeable. So let's see how hot we get here. 19 degrees, 20 degrees. What a nice radiator we have. How are we doing water-wise? 
51 liters. So, see, nothing was lost. It's cool that we can just gather that stuff again. What's not cool is that if I dismantle such a pipe in the last pipe, then its content will just be annihilated. I mean, that breaks with that whole concept. Uh, Power low. Okay. So, let's do that door thing. And I need some shoots. For that, I need iron. Do I have iron here? Yeah, very little. How many shoots do I need? I need an inlet, an outlet, which means two plus two, and a connector between the two, which means one more. So I need five. And five times three is fifty. I don't think we have that here. Three. Oh, we have some iron? Hilarious. Amazing. Music change. Okay then. I have no more welder fuel. The last step that I need to get my welder fuel smelting room done, I cannot be cannot do it because I do not have welder fuel. This is hilarious. But of course we will make do. How exactly? Hmm, I don't know yet. For example, by closing this by closing this door and dropping this bottle and opening it so that now it takes in the atmosphere from from the surrounding environment and actually the problem is uh, we have not not enough um, temperature needs to cold because I would like now to smell some ice right here and let the surrounding environment stream partly into that thing which will give us enough fuel blah 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 you know but um, that it's too cold and I can't heat it up using my uh, trusty flame for the trusty flame is requires that fuel and it would set the air on fire two good reasons not to go there hmm what can I then do we can do it in a different place that is a cool problem to have ah shit that can actually cost us something make some space I don't want to reload the game now to solve this problem here because um, for reasons so <laughs> um, let's put that in the welder all right everything closed yes Room temperature, minus 126. Insufficient for the purposes. 23. Sufficient for the purposes. I mean, there's all kinds of crap in here, but ultimately what we care about, enough oxygen and relatively enough volatiles. So let's... <laughs> I've never done this before, I swear.
now it's open and within we find all that crap that we also find in the air now let's toss one of these only one and now it's gone okay so what do we find in there 10 percent of that is volatiles and 83 is oxygen that is not a sufficient mix so i mean two-thirds need to be volatiles so let's keep tossing Wait, is the light out? Ah, oh, that was the sun, huh? Oh, that looks alright, almost. One more, maybe? I... Okay, two more. Oh, oh there were... <laughs> I thought that was all of them, but it wasn't. I can't just no longer split it, because it doesn't make sense if that's the last thing of the stack. Okay, it's not ideal. There's a little bit too little oxygen in there. Close it. Open it. And uh, just how much do we have in there? 164 kilopascals. That might be enough for one weld. Okay, let's go. Stationers. Oops. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the mixture is not pure, that's why we get this nice fireworks. Okay, that was actually quite cool. Let's clean everything up here. That door is open, so let's not open that door. And add the chutes. So when I stand here, I want to be capable of tossing in... Inlet, please. Inlet. Tossing in... Volatiles. Yeah, I have to use the rotation keys, which I'm still getting used to after all this time. I think I cannot add an outlet right there. Yeah, so, see, it's not auto rotating in that position. Is also not becoming yellow. No, I actually need to add a shoot. I dislike that we always have to go this extra way but I think they thought about that because apparently they did think about this game somewhat I mean it's kind of an assumption that seems not unreasonable that they did think about this game somewhat okay now we have that and we don't want to use it because um, that would not be good Ah, uh, uh, never mind. I, maybe I want to flip that, that door over there around. I can do that, I think, without any damage. Uh, okay, that door, let's close that. I mean, every closed door is one less hazard, I guess. I, uh, that's a ha I hazard, I guess. Damn it, I don't have... Oh, I, I do have... Somewhere here. Hmm. Yeah, let's risk it. Let's just toss one in, whatever. Do we see the air streaming? No, we do not. Why? Because it's very cold in there. Hmm. I'm really looking forward to finding out what the next steps will be, because I have no no idea. I mean, I have some ideas, but I'm not sure, you know? Man, I got about two more hours. Wait, wait. Oh, motherfucker. Oh. Windows 11 has once more fucked me. Just this very moment, just this very fucking moment, we reached midnight. I thought we had 10 o'clock. <laughs> it's still, still showing, showing 10, 10 after 10. I've never had that with Windows 10, that my taskbar crashes so that it still kind of seems to work but doesn't, and the clock uh, is just stopped. But with Windows 11, I've had it at the office and at home a few times. So, or at least at the office. I think that's the first time I see it at home. Anyway, mm, 
Okay, next step. Uh, let's check for this thing here. Everything's clean again. We can turn that off. 53 liters. Fine. What's the pressure, by the way? Rather low. We have to do something about that. How can we do that, then? Hmm... I could pump in some CO2 from the furnace, but that is hot. Hunger, ah. Oh, now there's this. Um, I want to flip this door around, because it's awkward. Hmm. No, I can't undrill this for known reasons. I was too greedy. Anyway, doesn't matter. I think that will open to the right. Oh, right, that. <laughs> Lucky me. Guessed correctly. How much welder fuel is still in there? Very, very little. Time to make some, I guess. So that needs to smelt. How can we do that? Let's see... Uh, first, what temperature is in there? With oh, there's pollution in the air. <laughs> Who would have thunk that? Um, let's put in a passive vent and a pipe so that we can measure the situation from the outside. I could also use a pipe cowl, but since that's going to be stuck to the uh, wall, to the floor, basically, uh, there's no need to use a. Oh, damn it! Use a cowl. I have to go to bed, man. I don't feel like it. Stationers is like best caffeine I know. Maybe that's why I don't drink any. So, um, that and this. This will allow us to measure what's going on in that room. We will measure minus uh, 135 degrees or something, and uh, 40 kilopascals and only oxygen. Minus 149, 43 kilopascals and only oxygen. So can I use the igniter? Where is the igniter? Is that too manufactory? Igniter. Oh, right. F1 first. Igniter. Uh, okay, the music isn't shit, but is slightly annoying. Three copper from the two manufactory, like I thought. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure from the simple one. So we can't build it anymore. Not at this point. And careful, these things they work immediately they, you don't have to um, you don't have to put up uh, you don't have to connect them to, to power they are already powered you know this connection is for logic so you can for example ignite them with logic now we'll save the game and then we want to see if something changes in here okay not much actually nothing Nothing has changed. Oh, minus 148? Oh, this creates temperature, uh, heat. I mean, it's a crappy way to do so, but um, we could tell Mr. Microchip to do that for us, you know. For that, we would have to connect that. I think there's still some lines left in our current Microchip thingy. So I can quickly do that. And then I guess I have to stop. I mean, the video is thematically not complete. I'm sorry about that. But I do have to sleep. I don't feel tired. 
But I will feel tired tomorrow and I fucking hate that. So I want to drive that thing continuously. Let's see what values there are. Uh, igniter. On. Maybe I just have to write on again and again. If I write that too often, by the way, the temperature in here will increase too much, so later I should do that interactively with the gas sensor. Like, if it's too cold, fire the motherfucker up. Otherwise, do not do that. <coughs> I would assume structure igniter. Ah, uh, no, not that mistake again. Structure igniter. Edit. Pause. How many lines do we have uh, down here? Enough. Define CLS igniter hash struck okay, paste. And then we will just fire up all igniters. I mean, who gives a fuck? And I will do that at the bottom. Yeah. Right. Badge. Not named this time. To this device, the value on. And what we want to write is one. Export. And here we go. It's firing. Don't you want to learn programming now, please? You see how easy it is to get somewhere? It's not clicking as fast as I'd hoped, as I'd hoped. But that is because of the yield statement. I don't want to remove that now. But what we can do. Oh, it's cool. We can see that through the like through the editors, basically. What if we do this four times? Uh, I think it doesn't actually change anything, but let's see what the numbers say. It doesn't seem to change anything. Maybe I could just put up a wall heater in there, you know? Actually, my goal is not to light that on fire. My goal is just to, to heat it up, right? So I should have actually put up a wall heater in there, not an igniter. But it was a nice experiment to have. Also, the igniter will come in handy later when we mm, actually have the, uh, mm, like, the boiler room that heats up the entire station. Wall heater then. Uh, probably here. Heats. No, heater. Kit wall heater. Ah, uh, gold and copper. Sh pretty sure we have gold. Anything still running when it shouldn't? Nope. The wall heater eats 1000 watts, so that's quite a lot. Temperature, 134, 133, 132. Dude, you're, you're kidding me. This thing is only slightly faster than the igniter and costs 1000 watts when the other thing costs nothing? <laughs> I should have commented that out instead of deleting it, but okay. SB CLS Igniter on one. Thank you and good night. Yeah, what about this guy who eats like 500 watts? Is that still reasonable? Ah, right, it has to stop first. We will get 15 iron, 4 gold, and 10 copper out of this. Not bad, actually. Uh, sorry. Free energy, basically. I mean, if you can use that to produce... Uh, Hunger, if you can cold. use the heat produced uh, to create... Um, you know, energy, so I mean it is energy. I mean, to turn that into electricity, that would be the trick. Is it empty? This thing? It is. A 
14 iron. That's not nothing. Yeah, okay. End of video. Incoming rapidly. I have to go to bed. So we will not wait until this has reached the temperature that we want. The igniter heats, but it also ignites. So if there's something burnable in there. Once... Oh! I guess we're gonna get a preview of what I want to build here. If I keep this up. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm because there's oxygen in there too. I think I need to suck that room dry. We need an active vent. And a passive vent to, you know, let that stuff out. Active vent. And a passive vent. Are the pipes still here? Yes, they are. Uh, hmm. On the ceiling, then. Ah, uh, can, can we... Do I have to go inside now? To make that happen? That's hilarious. Also, sucking the room dry, guess what that does? Then we have no temperature, no matter how often I hit the igniter. Then it cannot heat up the room. Huh. We would have to have some kind of working gas in there that is harmless, like nitrogen. Actually, pumping hot nitrogen in there from the furnace would be the most productive way. So, sadly, there's quite a lot of pipes. What I could do instead is I could transport a bottle here of... Yeah, that's maybe the best approach. So, uh, let's unbuild this stuff. Where's the drill? Uh... Then still the plan should be to pump that dry. I, I mean, so I always say dry, pump it empty. Um, hmm. This goes back to <laughs> forgive me. So um, we need to build in the room. This and the other. Oh, right, I have this hammer thing that I need to close. Hmm. Low. What? Dude, the things are on. Don't complain about the things not being on when they're on. So, this is now minus 100 degrees. But, I guess the base has to put up with that. Uh, what am I doing? Doesn't the active vent have to be in there? It does. <sighs> Which means it needs electricity. Do I still have cable to make that happen? Apparently. What about the cables in this room? If No, this is not the furnace room. The furnace room over there. I wonder if a cable can survive in there. Or this is just the m smelting room. And actually, I can connect the bottle canister thingy from the out, out there, so I can put the uh, hot nitrogen in here easily. So it's just click lock, done. Problem solved. Um. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This video, too, could be titled Heavy Breathing. But instead, it will be titled I Hate Work. Fucking hate it. Why can't I just be free, man? There are so many undeserving people out there who are free. I don't consider myself undeserving. But then again, who does? But then again, who's a realist? Okay, now we can... Oh. 
me? I always forget something. Oh, man. I can control that with logic, but there's a, di there's a better way to do this. A cheaty way. And that way is by changing the way this thing is oriented. I thought I didn't have to take the pipes with me. I was so sure. Okay, I can operate that from the other side, I believe. I can't? This is getting ridiculous, man. Okay, I don't have any more patience for this today. It is too late. Uh, we have to stop this now. I'm sorry. Uh, see you again some other time.